Hello, I'm Bruce Shetty, and today in Homemade Science, we're going to look at the Magdeburg Hemispheres. Now, this is a great demonstration in atmospheric pressure, and I'm going to show you a couple different ways that we can reduce the pressure inside of these things. And then I'm going to show you a couple homemade ones. Now, these were easy to build. Uh, they cost less than $10 a piece to make, and they work really well. <laughs> yeah, I can't pull it apart. So, let's get started. Here's one that's sold commercially. It has a shuttle valve that goes from the inside to the outside. This experiment was first designed by Otto von Guericke in about the year 1645. Here's an early version of it with a hand pump to evacuate it. And in our first method, we'll also use a vacuum pump. Now with the pressure reduced inside and the valve closed, you can then take the hose off and have somebody try and pull it apart. The hemisphere is actually like a metal suction cup. The difference is its metal structure allows for a greater reduction in pressure. The imbalance in pressure is enough that I can use it to lift this thing block. Otherwise the behavior is pretty much the same. <coughs> With most of the air removed from the sphere, it's the outside atmosphere pushing in that holds the two halves together. Fully evacuated, it would require about 185 pounds to pull the sphere apart. Something that school children have been trying to do for generations. In the original demonstration, Otto von Guericke had teams of horses trying to pull a much larger sphere apart and were unable to do it. To get them apart, just let air back inside. Now eventually we found a much simpler method where we didn't need a vacuum pump. All we needed was a long hose and some water. In this case we're using the weight of water to reduce the pressure by 1 psi for every 2.3 feet. For the best results we'd have to go up to about 40 feet, but it still works at lower heights. The idea is to fill the hemispheres in a tube up with water and then carry it up as high as we can. We're about 17 feet up off the ground floor. The bottom end of the tube is sitting in a pail of water, which keeps air from getting in the system. At this height, it should take about 90 pounds to pull these apart. You just got a video. You just got to this video. Even though we've gotten a lot of use out of these, I thought it'd be interesting to build my own set. Now, I have seen a few suggestions on making them out of pie pans. It's an easy build that starts with an eye bolt. It has a nut on it. You would then add a fender washer, a rubber gasket that was cut from a bicycle tire inner tube. The bolt closely fits through a hole that was drilled in the pan. Another rubber gasket. Another fender washer on top of that. One more smaller gasket and then a nut is tightened down to hold the whole thing together. Instead of the rubber gaskets, it is possible to seal the joints with a flexible glue. And finally, a small hole is drilled into one of the pans. This hole will be covered with a piece of tape and act as our release mechanism. All right, now I think these are ready to go, but I do need a gasket in between these two halves, so I've cut this ring out of heavy stock paper. Before I can use it, I have to soak it in water for a minute or two. When it's nice and soft, I'll put it on one of the pans facing up. I'm going to make a small fire inside the pan. So I have a damp piece of construction paper and I'll add some alcohol to it. And then I'll light it. All right, now let's see if it works. Ah, oh, come on. Look at this. Oh, that's a... I had another set of pans, so I'm trying it again. Well, these didn't work for me. They were just too light. So I got some heavier pie pans, and even these got bent up. So now I'm going to try it with these. Here's some cheap metal dog dishes that only cost me a dollar and a quarter. I'll set these up the same way as I did the pie pans, and we'll see if they work. 
All right, here's my first trial. I'll cover it with the second pan when I think I have the hottest flame. Well, it didn't collapse. Let's try a little test and see how well it holds together. See if I can hang from this. I would say that's successful. Take them apart, I'll pull this little piece of tape off. You hear that? I'm curious how much the pressure is reduced in my homemade version, so I've replaced one of the handles with a vacuum gauge. Feeding into the vacuum gauge is a nylon bolt that's had a small hole drilled through the center of it. I'm also replacing that paper gasket with one I cut out from a sheet of rubber that I got from a hardware store. In this first trial, I'm burning alcohol as my heat source. I'm getting a reading of about 18 and a half inches of mercury. That's a reduction in pressure of about 60%. I'm going to try it again. This time it's going to be combustion from burning paper. Paper worked better than I expected. It gave us a reading of about 16 to 17 inches of mercury. We can use the same process of burning a fuel inside the regular Magdeburg hemispheres. A few drops of alcohol, light it for a few moments, let it get a nice flame, cap it. With a 60% reduction in pressure, it should take 110 pounds of force to pull these apart. Well, we got pretty good results with these dog dishes. Now, here's another set that I like. Now, they're a little bit smaller, but I like the idea that they're rounded. I think it'll hold up better. Plus, it looks like the original equipment for this demonstration. So let's give these a try. Here's a gasket, piece of paper with some alcohol added to it. Next, we light it, give it a moment to heat up, and then we cap it. All right, that feels like it's got a good seal. Let's go test it. All right, I'm going to hang it from this beam here. Go. Let's see if it'll support me. <laughs> there it is. There we go. Ah, oh, very good. That's impressive. Well, I think of any demonstration in atmospheric pressure, this is the one that amazes me the most. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching. Okay, bye.